بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستفرقه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يدل فلا نؤمن لله وما يدل فلا نهدي لله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد السلام عليكم ما دام مسلم إن شاء الله the short talk will be about the purpose of life Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran and if the people of those towns had believed and had total taqwa piety certainly we should have opened for them blessings from the heaven and the earth Quran chapter 7 verse 96 so we ask ourselves what is the purpose of my life how can i make the best out of it what happens after death and how to prepare for the afterlife from the smallest particles to the big stars and vast galaxies everything is running smoothly according to a perfect plan the universe didn't come into being by an accident and doesn't run on its own common sense dictates that there must be a creator behind this great scheme and there is god almighty allah who controls everything how things in the cosmos can run so smoothly for millions of years without a supreme operator to manage and regulate them allah the supreme creator is almighty all wise all powerful and most beneficent and merciful whatever has happened in the past whatever is happening now and whatever is going to happen in the future that is all in the complete control of allah alone he is one worthy of all worship and he has no partners Time and space belong to him and the past present and future is all in his supreme knowledge and control. Allah the Almighty is showering countless blessings upon us every day. His universe and whatever is in there is in constant service to mankind, providing him water and food and everything which is necessary for his survival. So many organs from head to toe are relentlessly functioning within the human body and each is indispensable and can't be replaced every heartbeat every single breath and every eye blink demands us that we thank him our creator allah subhanahu wa ta'ala though we cannot thank him enough for his countless blessings the remembrance of the creator is the very soul of the universe the purpose of religion is to correct our relationship with our creator and with the rest of his creation islam is the only religion which truly establishes this relationship its simple guidelines are, are applicable in every walk and every aspect of life be a belief worship individual collective life and its physical emotional mental and spiritual aspects Islam is a way of life. Allah the Almighty sent prophets as guides to teach people the purpose of life and how to lead it. The prophets as role models for mankind ideally demonstrate how to lead life. They taught how to achieve success in this temporary life and the eternal life of the hereafter. Muhammad peace be upon him was a final messenger who was sent as a mercy to the entire mankind he was a reformer orator commander philosopher statesman administrator and a revolutionary leader and above all he was a slave and the final messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the movement which he started to reform mankind goes on and will go on till the end of this world the end of this dunya his miraculous achievements as a leader have been acknowledged by historians and men of letters by muslims and non-muslims alike even his worst enemies attested to this honesty of his and his integrity even those who did not follow the path of al-islam the ones that did not want to believe in the rub the the one deity the one god allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those that refused to believe allah could not deny that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam had the best of characters the quran is a complete code of life and a living miracle across the space and time hundreds of thousands of people including small children have memorized this book from cover to cover not a single word or letter in the quran has been changed in the last 14 centuries this itself is a miracle and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the quran that the Quran will not be changed. Other scriptures like the Torah, like the Bible, they've been changed, they've been manipulated, but the Quran remains the same. And Allah has said it will remain the same until the end of time when the Quran will just disappear because that's when guidance will end. That's when the day of accountability, the day of judgment 
will be upon us. There will be no more guidance, there will be no more mercy. We'll all be held accountable for what we did. The Quran mentions facts regarding the creation of the universe, birth of human being, formation of clouds, movement of sun and moon in orbits, and other scientific facts which were not known to mankind at the time of the revelation. This proves that it is a direct of God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who not only has complete and utter knowledge, but is the very source of knowledge. This life is a one-time opportunity to achieve everlasting happiness in the hereafter. Every moment has a great potential if positively used to raise status and rank in the sight of our Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Strong faith, Iman and good deeds bring peace and comfort in this life, in the grave and in the hereafter. A lot of people say that Islam means peace, but that is not correct. Islam does not directly mean peace. Islam can be better defined as submitting to the wills of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and living the life of Rasulullah who is the best of example to us and peace can be attained by doing so. Peace can be attained by being a Muslim. We must remember that this world is but a station, not the destination. It is a place where we are sent to be tested. It is not a place to become lost in its wonders and temptation and to be inactive, lazy or lethargic. So did you think that we created you for nothing and that you will not be brought back to us? Quran chapter 23 verse 115 Every action we do and every word we speak is being recorded. For complete success in this world and the hereafter, man needs to reform and change his life. He should quit the pursuit of desires and temptations and pursue the life of submission and obedience. By doing so, true peace can be attained. We must remember that paradise is a reality with rivers of milk and honey, palaces of gold and silver, delicious food and fruits, beautiful companions, always happy, always young, always healthy, a great kingdom for every and every of the end, unending employment and bliss, complete with each other to strengthen the faith and excel in good deeds and hasten to seize every fleeting moment and to turn into gold by productivity productive activity so seeds today to wear up in a rich harvest tomorrow and rush at the available opportunity before it is lost for good you've got this life we've got this life we've got this life to pass this test and to attain the highest mark possible and to get to the highest of Jannah possible where we will find rivers of milk honey palaces of gold silver delicious food and beautiful companions and many 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 more eternal bliss Convert your time into gold. Today is a day of action. Rush to do good deeds. Because repentance and asking forgiveness could clean up mistakes of the past. Good intentions lead us to a golden future. Every ordinary day acts like eating and sleeping can become acts of worship if done the way told by Allah and His beloved Prophet This is how every single act may bring us closer to our Creator. What a great bargain to earn an imaginable and countless reward in the everlasting life of the hereafter. Imagine a believer who always remembers and seeks help from his creator, praises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his tongue, in his heart, expresses gratitude for his bounties, he is patient in hardship, he supplicates in all earnestness and always has good intention. He follows the way of his beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his outward appearance and his manners conduct the etiquette. He is getting rewards at every step. Worshipping our Creator, acquiring knowledge to become an ideal believer, serving humanity, making efforts in helping fellow human beings to be loved by Allah SWT should be our mission. Deeds done with a pure heart, sincere intentions, with humility, love and care fulfills the missions of life. Islam teaches universal brotherhood as indicated and expressed in our daily prayers and our pilgrimage to Mecca. O oh mankind, we have created you from a male and a female and made you into races and tribes that you may identify one another. Surely the noblest of you is in Allah's sight is the one who is most pious of you. Surely Allah is all-knowing, all-aware. Quran chapter 49 verse 13. Islam's mission is to serve humanity. Islam teaches us to help the needy without any discrimination of color, creed, race, nationality. 
all Muslims are alive, be it you Asian, black, white, Chinese, it doesn't matter, we're all Ummah, we're Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the best man to walk the face of earth. Islam gives us a second chance to every human being to bring his life back on track, find way to salvation and to prepare for paradise. Embracing Islam washes away previous sins, repentance is the way to protect from punishment in the life of the of the hereafter. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Rahim, the most merciful. If we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincere repentance, Allah will accept our repentance. We must always always remember our purpose of life. We're here to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. We'll be sent here as a test. And this dunya is nothing but a test. And it's just a short, short abode. A short space of time we're going to spend in this land. Whereas the hereafter is everlasting. Do we want to be of the people that are in eternal hellfire? Or do we want to be the people that are in the eternal paradise bliss? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all. Al-Islam. Ameen.